Hi, my name is Dave Zajac, manager of Roush Advanced Composites. This is a Chevy Impella Fuel Funny Car produced here. Uh, it's a pretty amazing piece. It's vacuum bag cured carbon fiber Kevlar with honeycomb Nomax core reinforcements in certain areas. Uh, it's pretty important that this body is very strong. It's used high strength carbon fiber materials because it produces 8,000 pounds of downforce. Motored by a car that's actually 8,000 horsepower, a top fuel funny car. If you look at it, this car is amazingly light. Less than 100 pounds in total weight and used frequently on the drag strip. 330 miles an hour, four and a half seconds and a quarter mile. It's pretty neat stuff. This is the first step in the composite manufacturing process. What we have here is a two-dimensional cutter uh, getting ready to cut reinforcements for our composite shop. Uh, normally we use carbon fiber, Kevlar materials. What this machine does is basically takes digitized files that are input into a computer and then cuts those using the optimum size and shape, uh, utilizing as much of the material as possible. Then this materials that are cut are then later used in the composite shop. These are where the patterns are stored. Once the file is brought up, we assign the different types of materials that are used for it, and then we go over to the cutting machine and start the process of cutting. Now we're going to head down to the composite shop, the clean room, and utilize all these pieces that we've just cut, and we're going to watch the technicians lay those layer by layer into the tools downstairs and watch them go through the vacuum bag process, following up with an autoclave cure. Okay, now we're in a climate controlled room. We're about ready to start the lamination process using prepreg materials, which are slightly more advanced than the wet lay materials. These materials are basically shipped to us frozen in nature. They already have the resin and hardener mixed and impregnated into the cloth already. All these patterns are pre-cut from our pattern cutting area, and we're ready to start laying those up in the mold right now. The different types of parts that we would make in a prepreg uh, component uh, would be brake ducts, uh, rocker panels, uh, lower panels near exhaust or near uh, brake systems that normally require more heat, uh, and even parts that are, would require more strength such as funny car bodies or dragster bodies that are subject to higher physical loads. Dan here is doing the actual prepreg lamination process, applying the prepreg to the female epoxy tool. Uh, once he's complete applying all the necessary layers, the next step would be to cover the entire part and mold in a uh, release ply. Then after that, the next step would be covering the entire part with a breather, which enables the vacuum to transfer throughout the part. And then finally, vacuum bagging the part and then transferring over to our autoclave curing chamber, which goes through the cure cycle. And now once the part's been demolded out of the mold, this brake duct, we're going to go into the final step and we're going to go to trimming and deburring. All right, we just came down from upstairs where we pattern cut all of our materials. Now we're going to lay up a COT Fusion NASCAR cup nose in this mold. It was just recently sprayed in an in-mold primer about 45 minutes ago and we're ready to begin the lamination process using the wet vacuum bag process. Now what James is doing right now, he's actually pressing the materials in after it's been impregnated with all of the epoxy resins and making sure that it's in every nook and cranny in the mold and reducing any types of air voids by eliminating any bridging. So he's working the material in all the grooves and cracks. Once he's complete applying all the layers of Kevlar in this mold, the next step will be applying peel ply, breather, and then finally the vacuum bag and putting it under vacuum. Then this part will be left to cure overnight and demolded the next morning and followed by an oven cure. Once this is complete, the part will be trimmed and then shipped down to our distributor down south for distribution to the NASCAR teams. And then it goes to the racetrack. Well, you've just seen our two different types of processes we have here at our composite shop. The wet lay vacuum bag process that we produce some of our fascia and body components and our pre-preg autoclave cure components, which we build small brake ducts and large funny cars. Hope you found it interesting, and hope to see you someday on a racetrack and see our parts raised.